Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Joseph of the Lakes on this Most Holy Trinity Sunday. My name is Sharon Breer, and our presider will be Father Ken Pierre. The announcements today are as follows. It's time to get excited by, about the Summer Festival on August 7th and 8th. Everyone, it's time to save the date for August 7th and 8th for our summer festival. We're bringing St. Joe's back to the future. It's with great excitement and anticipation that we share with you the news about our summer festival for 2021. We all have worked so hard for the past 15 months to accommodate so many changes. Now it's time to celebrate and bring St. Joe's back to the future. Proceeds from the 2021 Summer Festival will be used in part for technology and security upgrades at St. Joe's, as well as helping us to carry out the mission of our parish and keep our ministries strong, vibrant, and life-changing. What are you most looking forward to about the Summer Festival 2021? Selling raffle tickets, the classic car show, hearing G.B. Layton on Saturday night and Saints of Swing and Java Soul on Sunday. That's a lot of great music. The fireworks show on Saturday night, our outdoor mass, French fries and all the festival food, seeing all of our friends, bidding on the awesome silent auction items, playing bingo, Joe's Bar, trying my luck at the wine toss, playing games with the kids, the confetti bowl, seeing who wins the raffle prizes and special drawings on Sunday afternoon, the fire truck, and doing my part to bring St. Joe's back to the future. So mark your calendars now and start selling those raffle tickets and let's get this party started. Please consider donating an item or basket for the silent auction. The earlier the better for the creative team to do their magic. Other donations needed include prizes for the confetti bowl, items for the bottle grab, water, pop, and wine for the wine toss. And if you or someone you know owns a classic car, be sure to register it for the car show on Sunday, August 8th. Forms are available at the office or online. Raffle tickets should be available to pick up next weekend. In observance of Memorial Day, the parish office will be closed on Monday, have May 31st. On Memorial Day Monday, May 31st, we will celebrate Mass in the cemetery at 9.30 a.m. Bring your own chair. In case of inclement weather, we will relocate to the historic church. Today's second reading reminds us that we are the adopted sons and daughters, the heirs of God. We are good stewards of our inheritance when we share our faith and fulfill our Lord's commandment to go and make disciples of all nations. At this time, I would like to invite you to please stand and greet those with whom you are worshiping. Please join us in singing our gathering song, number 566, O God, Almighty Father.
test. That's good. We made it. <laughs> Feast of the Holy Trinity. See that? Who knows? When I brought my own icon, there it is. 1400s Rublev. I lived over in Matamidi, I think. It's three angels. Angels. We'll talk more about it later, but at a table welcoming us. Thank you for coming. In the name of the Father, see, we begin with the Trinity and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. And we do ask healing by our God for our globe, our church, our parish, ourselves, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray our prayer of praise. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A 
A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war with a strong hand and outreached arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoyed on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land, which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, 
but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may be also glorified with him. The word of the Lord. you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them when they saw him they worshipped but they doubted then Jesus approached and said to them all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Halle, halle, halle. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, halle. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, halle. It is the beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and the end go therefore into the whole world and teach all people baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit it is the bookends of our life with God. This icon, maybe we can see that again, thank you. It's angels, those aren't Trinitarian figures. This is a Russian iconographer who made these three angels for us to think about the Trinity by putting them around a table to which we are all welcomed. It is the 
love of God, which they exchange in the way they look at each other. The Trinity loves the inner life of the Trinity and invites us in. There's a place there, an emptiness, a chair for us each in the life to come. I have learned in the last couple of years the saying, when you see the face of a friend, you are looking into the face of God. Nice. And think of what has happened, transpired, been uh, promulgated for the centuries of God. Creation, a mystery of God wishing to express God outside of God. We're it. Creation is God's expression. And then the word is a part of that creation. It's called in, I call it in creation, incarnation, charismas, God with us. It's the Trinity being a part of our life. And a teacher in the seminary that I went to said, what happens is like what happens when I lift this cloth. See how it all comes with the incarnation? God, Jesus, lifts all of creation to be with him. And that leads to the Paschal mystery, Easter, a mystery of God, Trinity. In creation, Jesus, Easter. And then it becomes we the church. The sacraments are God's presence, baptism, Eucharist, matrimony, And that's the way we become church. We know that on Easter, Saturday night, it's those sacraments, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, that makes us members, as we all were at one time, into the church. And the church's role is what Jesus, the Trinity, the Spirit asked of us all, that is, go into the whole world, baptizing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, confirming, inviting them to the table. And then you are church and you each have a ministry to bring about that table. Not that table, that table. That is, the great gathering, which is the parousia, it's called. The gathering of God's people with God's people. That's why we celebrate today the beginning and the end of this mystery and series of mysteries that uh, this iconographer had in mind when he set that table and said the Trinity is there to welcome us at the end of our common life. To be welcomed by this, the love of God 
to see the face of God in the face of one another and to be forever God's people. That's what happens at this table. This table is that table. This table is that we're all welcome to this table as a sign of the table to come. It's what we rehearse. Listen now we pray together, holy, holy, holy. It's this table and that table. Our Father, it's people beyond this table and in the next table. The Lamb of God, forgive us. We are already God's people. Whatever else we do is woven into the beauty of life with God here and beyond. It's why we gather in this room to celebrate the love of God. And we'll share our creed. Let's please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Calling to mind the needs of this world, we place our prayers before the Most Holy Trinity, knowing that God is merciful and gracious. For the Church, called by grace to grow in holiness, we pray to the Lord. For the nations of the world, to end the violence and upheaval which destroys the common bond of humanity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For racial justice throughout our nation, may hope and peace empowered with courage prevail. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely and isolated, the outcast and the stranger, the brave and the patient, to know safety and love through the comforting presence of another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples, parents and children, single people, clergy, religious, and lay ministers, may they reflect the divine love that flourishes in the three in one. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember to God, Dick Moga, recently deceased, and the deceased family members of all gathered here. And on this Memorial Day weekend, all who have given their lives in service to our country, may they and all the dead be at peace and share in the glory of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Three-person God, 
Your love spell, spills over into all creation, and you draw each of us into the mystery of so intimate a love. Hear these our prayers and those for our archdiocese. Loving God, who gave St. Joseph to Jesus and Mary as protector and guide, granted our archdiocesan synod under his protection and guidance, may help us discern your direction for our church. May we listen as he listened, trust as he trusted, obey as he obeyed, receive as he received, love as he loved, and share in his life of devotion to Mary and Jesus. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray, pray for, us. for us. Let's be seated as we prepare our table. Please join us together in singing number 567, Holy, Holy, Holy. Sanctify, by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, the oblation of our service, and by it make us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing the true and eternal Godhead, 
you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by the angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day with one voice as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith... pray as church. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all your ministers. Remember your servant, Dolores Heine, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like it, baptism may also be one with him in his resurrection. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. (laughs) 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, let us always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us together now and in life everlasting.
please join us together in singing number 926, Life-Giving Bread, Saving Cup. Receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, <clears throat> bring us health of mind and body as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. To love and serve the Lord. Thanks. And please join us together in singing, Go.